in Frono's photo. Dot com and yes, I was being such a lazy ass photographer and it's annoying and I shouldn't be so damn lazy. Uh, so what happened? It was a beautiful night out. Uh, this was a couple months ago and I looked out the window and I was like, oh, it's purple and orange out. I rushed upstairs to go onto my roof deck to take a picture. I grabbed my iPhone and went up to the roof and went, click, what the hell am I doing? Yes, I just got this snapshot on the left, but then I was like, stop being so damn lazy. Go grab the D4. That's why you own the stinking thing. Put a good lens on it. Go back up on the roof, and hopefully you didn't miss the sunset. Sunrise, sunset, so live it in a way. But anyway, I grabbed the D4, went back up on the roof, shot for a couple of seconds because the light was changing and I came out with these two pictures on the right and the one on the left is taken with the iPhone and I edited it it in Snapseed and a little bit here in Photoshop or sorry Lightroom and yeah I'm sure there's people are gonna be like oh I like the colors better on the one on the left and but whatever I think that the colors are more representative in the middle shot and the right shot than anything the tones are better just obviously the clarity you can't compare a D4 to an iPhone 5 we just we know that is this a 5 this isn't the new one it's a 5 5 5 so yeah I just part of this was more about not being so lazy and just grabbing the phone because it's in your pocket most of it's about getting there getting the just grabbing the gear that I have and taking the extra couple seconds to do it properly in my mind like I said some people may like this one on the left I liked, first I liked the one in the middle the most, but something caught my eye on the right hand side of this shot. For anybody that's from Philadelphia, we know that we have a building, we have William Penn is on top of the building. Now back in the day, it was always said that no building would ever be taller than William Penn's hat. That was written into whatever the rules of the city, the city were, and obviously they got past that because we've got the big building, and then we've got the big ass Comcast building, Comcast Center, which is a huge, huge building. But this is the image that I like. I love the one on the right because of that. I do like this one in the middle, but I wish that it had the building. I, I uh, had William Penn. Honestly, I couldn't tell you that I meant to have William Penn in the building. I tried to compose it where there's a big water tower to the right, and I had to, actually you can see it. Uh, where can we see it? Where's the water tower? Let me bring this image up. Uh, I guess there's a wall. I don't know. This shot is so freaking wide, it's not even funny. Um, but there's a water tower to the right that I didn't want in the image. So I didn't even see the William Penn thing until after I looked at it in the computer. And those are one of those happy accidents. It's like happy clouds. Well, in this case, it was a happy William Penn in, in the shot. These shots are the kind of pictures, the one in the middle and the one on the right, are the kind of shots that I could see printing as a metallic aluminized print from Adorama Pics. That is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to hang it in the hallway in my building because I want people to see this. Also, the full res, fully resed export is up as a JPEG up on Flickr for common use. You can print it. You can, If you like my edit, you can do that. It's not for, um, let's see, what, what's a Creative Commons? I'm going to allow people to just use it, but not for sale. So I'm also putting up the DNG file that if you'd like to go ahead and edit one of the files, you can go ahead and tweak it, edit it any way that you seem fit because people like to t say that they would do a better job editing. Well, by all means, take the DNG file, get it printed. If you want to print it and have Adorama Picks do it, by all means, go ahead and do it. I'm giving you permission to go ahead and print it out for personal use, not for sale. Do not try to sell it. This is my photo that I captured from not being lazy and running up on the roof and doing it right. So that is it. I, I mean, obviously, the tones and the colors I like better in the D4. Sure, there's a wide-ass shot here on the left-hand side from the iPhone, which is perfectly okay if you want a snapshot to represent what you're doing and put it on Instagram and say, Woo, whoop de doo look! But then... Stop being so lazy. And more of this is a yelling at myself for being so lazy and reaching for the iPhone when I should be taking the time to set up my camera, which didn't take much time at all. I threw that 7200 on there. I got up on the roof and I shot away one 125th with VR on 
4.5 ISO 800 135 millimeters. I could have pumped the ISO up higher to give myself a faster shutter speed. I didn't have much time to do anything because the light was leaving us. We can see by zooming in on this building that it was 646 in the evening. Uh, and I actually, I debated getting rid of like these lights in the building. But I thought that that adds to the city feel. And if this was all black, it wouldn't be realistic. But you can have freedom to go ahead and take that DNG file and do what you want. Post it in the forum, post it on the, the, the Facebook page, upload it to Flickr, but please tag me in it and credit me in it. And that is it, guys. So with me saying don't be lazy, try not to be so lazy, grab a camera, get out there and shoot Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.